Hello, I'm Brian, and welcome to another episode of XCOM Long War. So, look at this! Ah, <laughs> nicely set up team. So, in the last episode, we have taken care of a uh, down the UFO. Uh, we didn't get hurt a lot, so that is always good. Uh, no, no casualties. <laughs> that's the that's the best part of it. No casualties, and then we got this bomb disposal. So I think uh, bomb disposal is actually one of the first challenge uh, we are going to get in this uh, in this game. Uh, that is really challenging. Uh, so what is bomb disposal? You have to move through the map really quickly, trying to uh, disarm some of the. Uh, so-called power nodes to get yourself uh, enough time to get to the bomb and then disable it and then there will be some enemy drops that you'll have to eliminate as well now the problem with bomb disposal is that you really need to move quickly so you can't just sit around do nothing wait for the aliens to come to you and if you move through the map really quickly that is actually a bad idea you could accidentally activate uh, uh, multiple parts and you would be in big trouble and then also because of it's very time sensitive if you do not have a um, a team that can move very fast then uh, you could be in big trouble so and also on top of that <laughs> we are going to face the uh, Finman as well so deadly shooter and uh, yeah uh, facing them on March is like ugh. <laughs> but yep, we're gonna do it because it has uh, panic reduction. And if we didn't do it, uh, the panic will go up in the country, I think. So yeah. All right. So let's take a look at the team. Uh, starting the chef. Yay. Um, so the chef decent health, uh, decent aim, and then also 14 move. Uh, doesn't get freaked out easy and then also because uh, it doesn't use the um, uh, cover it has a 12 innate defense against shooting so a little less likely to get shot at uh, compared to someone that is standing uh, in in the open however it is still easy target for the aliens so uh, they, they can uh, the shift can draw fire from the aliens and then uh, our guys will be a little bit safer as well and also it has some uh, a little bit of uh, damage reduction as well so make it making it a little bit more durable uh, the auto cannon is very high in damage so our our weapon was like four to six or six to eight something like that and then this one is five to nine, five to nine and then nine to twelve so crazy good already and also uh, free slots for equipment so <laughs> isn't that nice uh, we, we have only two we don't have the uh, the tactical rigging so we, we have only two uh, so uh, high cap mag uh, laser sight and then also the motion tracker yeah so basically that's all you can equip uh, on honor shift uh, in early game but that is already enough uh, Hope you serve as well. <laughs> All right. Second, we have our gunner. Uh, aim is a little low. Uh, Sixty. That is not going to shoot anyone. Uh, not, not going to hit anyone. <laughs> she's going to shoot someone, but uh, she's not going to hit anyone. Uh, however, for health plus three, ceramic painting. Uh, it's kind of okay. And uh, attack armor as well, uh, because she will be doing a lot of uh, suppression. I think uh, she needs a little bit higher health uh, to give me a little bit of a uh, uh, confidence <laughs> in that. Uh, she innately is a good runner, uh, 15 movement. However, because of the uh, equipment, she is kind of a little bit weighted down. I think uh, if we can really, you know, like run it like that, uh, 4 plus 2, eh, no. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Alright, and then my Rocketeer. Uh, you can see here because uh, she will be carrying a shadow rocket and then another rocket. So she can fire the rocket uh, launcher three times. And uh, 
Because of that, she is on SMG. So if we do not use an SMG, like a carbine or something, her movement will be greatly hindered. We need her to move fast. So she's not going to do a lot of damage uh, with her gun because it's like the gun is just not. <laughs> it's just not gonna do any damage. But uh, yeah, she's going to walk around in good spots, steady. And then when the time comes, fire a rocket in a bunch, uh, hopefully, into a bunch of Finmen or a bunch of Sectoids. Yep. Next off, we have our medic. So our medic is also set up a little bit uh, more awkwardly. You, you won't set this up uh, in common missions. Uh, however, tech vest, increased movement, shotgun as well. Uh, now I need someone to carry shotgun, but I figured that our scout is going to get the marksman rifle, uh, our engineer, uh, which is kind of a good shot. Uh, I really wanted him to uh, be doing the mid-range shooting part of it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll get get to this part. Yeah. Uh, basically, <laughs> he's the only one that is going to have shotgun because uh, <laughs> he's the only one an adept. In, in using that. Uh, let's, let's put it this way. Alright, so because of the low health uh, of the tech vest, we get the ceramic plating to compensate for it, uh, and also two med kits. Um, now, uh, that makes it free because of the field medic perk uh, that he has as a medic. Uh, that is very important because uh, med, med kits, the uh, they not only revive your uh, ally and also do some healing, it also allows you to uh, avoid the exit damage as well. So even if a Finman has uh, put exit on this uh, on, on the medic, uh, he can just walk around fine. He will have the aim penalty, but then uh, it's fine. Yeah, uh, the, the great part is that he's going to walk around. <laughs> and that is the most important part of it. All right, going to the engineer. Um, Assault Rifle, because of the 72 aim, I want him to have four, uh, H basically two sets of uh, heavy explosive grenade for uh, a lot of the maps that have the bomb mission uh, going on. Uh, there will be a lot of destructible uh, cover and uh, yeah, a couple of HG grenade should work in our favor. Should work in our favor. But because uh, he is going to carry two sets of grenades, uh, he is not going to have the uh, ceramic plating on him, and that's why he has to be on tech armor. I don't want him to be on five health. That is not gonna work. Yeah, if uh, we put on uh, tech vest, yeah, fourteen plus one movement that's pretty good but then he will be on five health and uh, it could be a, a one shot uh, target for the uh, sector and that will not work so yeah tag armor unavoidable all right last but not least johnson here our scout uh, acting as the sort of <laughs> uh, short range sniper she is very agile in uh, 16 movement also 69 aim is kind of okay uh, so uh, she'll be handling a marksman rifle uh, for this early in game. I think a single marksman rifle shot against a Finman or Sector is going to be a one shot, one kill deal. So um, unfortunately, we don't have the marksman scope. Uh, that doesn't give. Uh, uh, so we don't. We can't give her the snapshot uh, perk where she can shoot five tiles uh, away from her sideline. However, uh, uh, that is okay. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the marksman rifle, she's going to use it nicely. And uh, also, with the laser sight, uh, increase the aim. So she has kind of like a 73 aim, so it's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Battle scanner as well. Uh, we already have the motion sensor already, but then sometimes you really wanted a uh, Better scanner as well. Uh, you want to get as much information as possible before you move uh, and make decisions. Uh, so I figured uh, the best way to do it is to have a better scanner. And instead of like a one use the flashbang or uh, AP grenade, uh, maybe, maybe flashbang. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, yeah, better scanner. That is what I've uh, elected to put on her, and uh, I hope that that works out. All right, so <laughs> without further ado, let's get to it.
dropship has arrived. Listen up. Okay. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. This map. Uh, I really wanted to have my sniper in the in the team now. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Yeah, our snipers are all fatigued or well, no one is hurt, but they are fatigued. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to use the sniper. Sometimes sniper is Strike very one. awkward. Council intel indicates the aliens are charging a plasma bomb of some kind in your vicinity. Time is running short. We need to locate and disarm that weapon before they're able to finish priming it. Okay, so this map, huh? New objective received. Um, I would bet that the bomb is somewhere around here. So completely diagonal to the, yeah, to the landing zone uh, for us. Hmm. Okay, alright. Motion tracker up. Directly in front of us! Uh, yeah, in here, I think. Uh, where is that thing? Alright, so you can see here the green uh, squares are actually these bomb notes. Where is that thing? Alright, maybe here somewhere. Yeah, so enemies are there. We're going to take care of them, but uh, first thing first, we will move I'm here. Only. Disarm this. It seems you've bought yourself some time, but you still need to hurry, or well, you know. Alright. So can we get to position without actually trigger them? That's the question. Of course the preferable route would be to move uh through the bus and uh behind the bus and uh yeah, but <laughs> the alien is there. Yeah. Uh, if we move around that and then they patrol in to behind us, that would be disastrous. Alright, let's see. Full cover, that would be nice, although it's a car, so it might get <laughs> bombed. Alright. Alright, let's see. Uh, the gunner. I've moved the gunner. Uh, Alright, let's see if I will trigger it like so. Got something over here. Okay, free sack toys. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Alright. Um hmm. Alright. What? Oh, yeah, uh, you are on the... <laughs> Silly me! Why would I think that would work? <laughs> yeah, you, you might not notice, but uh, yeah, he's on a... Uh, he's on a uh, shotgun, yeah. Hoo-hoo, yeah! Laying on him! Perfect. All right, I'll go down. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. All right. Forty-two percent. Huh? Overwatch. Uh. You. Uh. Here, I guess. And then. Hmm. Where should I put you? I don't want to put her here. It's half cover. It's kind of silly. I'm on the move. All right, let's see if it reveals uh, more enemies now. All right, all right, okay. Uh, where or oh where are we gonna put you Moving. here? And then steady weapon in case uh, next turn someone comes from our left flank, we can just uh, put a rocket and end the threat. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, okay. Ooh, twelve percent. That's not a low percentage at all. What the heck is that? All right. Bomb. Foo. 
As I said uh, in the intro, lots of uh, come on, stop with this already. Yeah, lots of destructible. Um, really? Like, really? Oh no. I'm pretty sure someone is uh, overwatching in the back, and we are going to get shot at if we come here and try to uh, use a shotgun. <sighs> okay, okay, alright. Yeah, that missed the shot was. <sighs> was painful. It was painful. I'm not gonna lie, it's painful. Alright, Shiv, you're up for it. Find me that overwatching bugger. No? Alright, motion tracker. Alright, oh, right behind him. Okay, okay, alright, alright. That makes a little bit more sense. Uh, in that case... I still don't think uh, I should move the medic all the way up. Is there a good place for him to hide? Maybe like this? Okay, yeah. Uh, finish him. Please, thank you. <laughs> yeah, 74 percent. Uh, all right. Okay. You will move here. Overwatch. You keep studying the weapon. You come forward and disarm this. Good work. That'll buy us a little more time. But you still need to find that bomb. Uh, move slightly forward, I guess. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Ooh. Oh, Finman, Finman. That alien is unusually human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. Oh no! Activate a Finman! Oh, look at that! One Finman there! Ah, right! Can we come here and take a shot at the... You do. Crap, we can't. I thought for some reason that we might be able to shoot it that way, but okay. Um, he's in half cover. How so? Uh, however, the bomb will not completely destroy this um, this structure here. All right. Before we move to have a fancy play of. Uh, a rocket firing here to try and destroy them from out of sight, out of the sight line. Let us take care of this first. Yeah. Um, I think uh, no help to it. I guess uh, the shift has to continue killing him. <laughs> uh. All the kills stolen, huh? Alright, can you get to him? Not a flank shot. Not by a long shot. But you can't see? Oh, okay. Alright, if I move, I... Uh, he will be able to sidestep and uh, take a shot. Okay. Let's get up. And then... Yep. Uh, forty-three percent. Uh, all right, all right. Oh. Oh. Okay, that was pretty lucky, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, in that case, uh, I really want wanted to move forward, but uh, can we get him like that? No. Oh, obviously not. Yeah, but if we need to move forward. We'll trigger the sectoid. We need to come here and then throw a bomb like here 
to destroy that cover and then allow the shift to actually shoot at him uh, without any uh, you know uh, any of the uh, on the of the cover yeah but uh, <laughs> maybe not all right so the fancy play will have to come into play right now yeah um, all right No, you didn't miss. They just didn't die. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay. Well. Uh, the sector is going to come up and uh, give us a hard time. Is she in any trouble? I hope not. I hope not. Alright. Do I have to risk it? Yeah, if we move here, we can't really throw that far. Not even for an engineer. That was that was ridiculous. That was full cover. How do we do this? Yeah, I, I'm very, very uh, careful right here because it is really that dangerous. And with that Finman there, uh, not good. Yeah, I, I think uh, no, no, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna back down a bit, a little bit, and uh, try to find a chance to ambush the Finman instead. Hopefully, uh, that will work in our advantage and uh, <laughs> it's not us that get ambushed. Yeah, I'm not sure if the female will charge us. Okay, ooh, sectoid, ooh, sectoid, female, wow, oh, yeah, 31%, yeah, that's pretty lucky. That is pretty lucky. Um, all right, in that case, that should give us a flank shot. But the problem is the Finman. All right, get the node. Good job, strike one. That should buy us a few minutes. And then the shift can move up. Yep, the shift move up. <gasps> More targets. Oh no, that's not what we wanted. However, uh, we can do this. Boom. Yep. And that's why <laughs> you have a uh, shotgun on them. All right. Again, talking about a uh, destructible. Ooh, that was strange. Okay. Can we destroy the cover? Yeah, the the thing seems very awkward. Okay, let's do it like this. What's Something. I yeah. I don't know what it's saying. All right. Okay. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. Uh, Alright, I'll scout. What do we do with our scout? You will have to get out of there. That I know. Um. Alright. Still 34%, huh? Ah, because it's still in full cover. Yeah. <laughs> the bomb basically does nothing. Well done. Reload. And then... Uh, yeah. Our rocketeer needs to relocate. 
she needs to relocate. The question is where? Heading to that location. All right, steady weapon. And, ooh. Yeah, that was actually a little bit awkward. <laughs> All right, uh, Overwatch. And for this one, Let's come up here and suppress the Finman. Suppressing target. Yep, making sure that uh, the Finman doesn't get a good shot. That's the point, the whole point of it. Okay. Yeah, the, the Sectoy healing themselves with the, uh, the Link is a little bit of a problem. Suppressing the shift, alright. The shift will just move. Oh no! God damn it! <laughs> no way that just happened. Uh, oh crap! Someone is gonna die. Eh? Uh, you double moved. Huh? What? What? That makes no sense at all. Okay, I think we got a freebie here. I really do. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a freebie. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. Alright, let's see. Alright. How do we want to do this? I know I'm going to throw this grenade and destroy the cover. Are we? <laughs> That's the question is the are we? <laughs> uh... Alright. I will use the motion tracker first. Alright. Let's move here. Okay, the left flank seems to be clear, I think. Alright, then you should come here. Send the Finman to God. Yep! <laughs> Look at the face! <laughs> it's like, ooh, that's nice. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> All right, yeah. Bomb the cover. Oh, and killed him in a <laughs> in the process. That's okay. All right, I wanted to check the gunner again. Yeah, I want to check the gunner again. All right. Okay, it doesn't seem like um, there are someone on the left-hand side of it, so I think what I will do is uh, run here. Is that even safe? <laughs> That's the question. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and the turn, uh, the number of turns are a little bit. Yeah, a little bit tight, a little bit tight. Alright. How about we... Hmm. How about we overwatch? Yeah, overwatch. And then overwatch. Uh, you... Ah, uh, yeah, actually. Uh, yeah, our Rocketeer will move forward and steady weapon. And then she will be... Yeah, she will be hiding behind her. Now that the female has been dealt with, I think there will not be another one. Okay, fire at the shift, miss! Nice! Overwatch. 
Okay. Um. All right. Heading there now. We'll dash the Overwatch then. Yep. Oh, three percent shot. Oh, don't hit her, please. Thank you. Ooh. All right. Flank sword. Seventy-three percent. Please hit. Please. I want to give you a kill. Perfect. <laughs> See you in hell. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Let's move here. Excellent. That's another one down. Um. All right. How do we want to do this? Do we want to push like so? I don't think so. Uh. But we really wanted to keep moving. Yeah, we're being. All right. All right. Where is my gunner? No cover. Yep, I bombed the. <laughs> I bombed all the covers, essentially. Alright, how about suppression? Yep. Yeah, your, your weapon's empty. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright, Shiv, go up. Alright, no enemy in sight. Uh, in that case... Alright, yeah, this is kind of a risky business, but, uh, yeah. That's all we can do. Yep, and then... Steady weapon? Alright, 60%! Hoorah! Hoorah, yeah, hoorah! <laughs> uh, okay, stop with this already. Okay. That's zero energy on that power node, strike one. I repeat, power node deactivated. Okay. Are there any other power node? Yeah, aside from this. Uh, yeah. See, the bomb is there. <laughs> Alright. Now, I'm not sure if there are any enemies left. Moving. So we should still try to uh, be careful about this. Looks like you found the bomb. Get over there and deactivate it. Yep. We have a new objective. Yep, yep, yep. We are going to do that. Just just not right now. Just not right now. That's affirmative. We're green to go. Alright, the shift. The shift can yeah, the shift can go all the way there. Yeah. It's fine. I don't think there are more um, enemy, but yeah, better be safe than sorry. Better be safe than sorry. Okay, the turn passed way too fast. Yeah, there is no enemy. Okay. Um. However, we're not gonna rush it. Ouch. Just as I'm saying that we're not gonna rush it, <laughs> I just misclicked. Alright. Now, we understand that the bombs, once deactivated, uh, the Finman will start dropping on us like. Like it's raining cats and dogs. So. Is it better that we just go to the bus? Yep. Confirmed. Yep, we just uh, stay around the bus and then uh, and then use that as a uh, as a cover. Yeah, we don't we don't want to. That's affirmative. Yep, and you just hang here. Uh, you overwatch. Commander, we're detecting an energy buildup in the area. That bomb is going to reach full power any minute now. 
Yep, yep, yep. That's another power node down. Uh. All right. Engineer. And I power node run back. Power down. And then the gunner can hang out right Ten here, four. I guess. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah, the rocketeer can continue to. All right, I think we are set. I think we are set. We will use the shift to deactivate it. Well done. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. Okay. Objectives updated. All right. Okay. So go here. Overwatch. Steady weapon. Um. Okay. Affirmative. Here. Overwatch. Uh, I'll, all right. Allow me to save the game first. Yeah. The last time the game is wonky and uh, it. Just freeze <laughs> for some reason. All right, Overwatch. Uh, you here? Overwatch. I thrown. Wow, I thrown three of the HE grenades already. Huh. All right. Yep, Feynman dropping in. One. This is crap. <laughs> All right, free. Oh, those reaction shots are. All right, this is unreal. Ten percent and an eighteen percent shot, and then <laughs> both of them hit. I, <laughs> uh, I mean, I will take that. I, I, I will take that. Hi. Told you the shift is gonna be useful. <laughs> Okay, all right. Where's the third one? Somewhere around here. Yeah, let him show his face first then. Uh, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, we shouldn't be, uh, yeah, we should be careful. Yeah, we could get killed. Oh, I just realized there was a mistake. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, the reason I said this is a mistake is because uh, I I think the medic could actually get into sightline, and that would be bad. Heading there now. All right, Overwatch. All right, make that shot and deal four damage, right? Oh, five damage, nice. Well done, Strike One. I'm reading zeros on the bomb's energy signature. Oh, yes! Oh, 11 aliens killed. Of course, uh, the number is a little low. Uh, usually, you would be exec uh, expecting like uh, 12, 13, 14, maybe 16, I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is March. I, I would take that. Oh my god. Nobody uh, get hurt, right? Yeah, not even the shift. Not even the shift. Yeah. A couple of uh, close calls, but then even with the the 10 and the 18% shot missing, I think uh, it won't be a problem. We are in prime position to just run that overwatch and then go in and uh, give them a flank shot. Oh, I got someone wounded, huh? Ah, yes, because, uh, yeah, that's because uh, Nikolai here, uh, he is, uh, wait, what? Is her? Why? <laughs> I don't remember him getting shot at. Uh, maybe I, yeah, maybe I, I sent him out a bit. Uh, with him uh, fatigued. I don't know. Yeah, this is weird. All right. Okay. All right. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah. Steadfast. Yeah. Fourteen days. Uh, he'll be back. Uh, in the latter half of the uh, of the next month so yeah should not be too much of a problem 
All right, scout. Uh, that would be da, 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 da. a lone wolf or DGG or holo targeting. That would be holo targeting. All right, perfect. Yep. Ah, uh, I would take that. Yeah, I really would take that. Excellent work, Commander. The local Nigerian populace is definitely grateful for our assistance, even if they don't know who we are. <laughs> we will be in touch, Commander. Oh, yeah. Council report in four days. Marksman scope ready. Uh, 1st of April, so, yep. Fun times. Uh, I wonder if we should just uh, go ahead and launch the... Uh, launch the satellite. I think we should. Satellite launched. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. So now you can see here bonus gained in North America air superiority. So what is that? Uh, air superiority aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 25% less to purchase and maintain. Great help, great help uh, because we can go to the hangar and then when we order interceptor the initial cost would be reduced from 200 to 150 now we can't really afford another one I think uh, alright let's see XCOM finance mm, 4x interceptor minus 120 oh god <laughs> Uh, oh, those those are expensive toys. Those are really expensive toys. All right, net income is eight hundred and sixty-four. All right, let's check The new check engineers out. arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. It is unlikely that we can uh, acquire twenty engineers. Uh, in early April to get the uh, yeah to get to 20 we are like uh, what? uplink facilities at maximum capacity additional uplink required yeah plus one engineer per month no that's not gonna work uh, in that case all right let's visit the uh, gray market and then all right all right, let's build. Uh, no, not build. Uh, what am I thinking? Hangar. Yeah, let's order another uh, interceptor. Yeah, that will be needed. And then we also added the lower loadout uh, stingray. Yeah, just to penetrate those uh, uh, those smaller uh, fighters that the uh, the alien will send uh, in the next month. Yeah. All right. I suppose that's it. Yeah. All right, let's spin the club. Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. All right. Remember, we will be watching. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, so you can see here eight hundred and thirty-five dollars. Okay. All right. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we got through the first month. We got through the first month. That's awesome. So we've done what? Uh, a couple of a uh, uh, two downed UFOs, a couple of uh, alien abduction mission in March, and then. A very early bomb disposal as well. Now, granted, it was just a bunch of sack toys and then one Finman, but then uh, uh, the Finman drop pins are also counted, like say three, three of them. Yeah, so we got lucky. The ten percent and the eighteen percent shot, though, those are ridiculous. I uh, <laughs> that, that doesn't happen all the all the time. But uh, yeah, I think uh, it is a pity that we lost two PFCs uh, uh, from the start. But uh, I think we got through the month okay. Not great, but okay because uh, we didn't get any uh, anyone up to the corporal level. 
Yeah, so we didn't unlock the OTS uh, just now. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Yep. And then 12 scientists. From what little I've seen of their technology. All right. Yep. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so $800, that's a lot of spend. And uh, we are going to figure out what to spend on uh, in the in between episodes, I think. All right, so yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Uh, we successfully got through the first month, so <laughs> it's a good thing. And uh, yeah, you usually get through that, but then things will get tough. And uh, in April, we'll be uh, in this month, right? Uh, so you can see here, first of April. Um, in this month, we can expect a uh, another council mission. I think uh, it might be a Van Dorn or. It might not be friends, uh, friends in low places. Uh, the the Zhang mission, uh, because that would uh, be followed by a gangplank, and <laughs> who who can do a gangplank in April anyway? But uh, yeah, I think it could be um, General Van Dorn uh, going to get it, uh, and then it might also be Porton. Uh, the the France uh, council mission where we go and escort a uh, uh, someone that is turns out to become an exalt uh, we disabled the exalt but then yeah it, the that that mission also ties into the later uh, two missions as well where we get some uh, psionic soldiers or something yeah all right yeah. So uh, yeah, and also the first terror mission, uh, that is always uh, horrifying to be honest. We'll be expecting to see a lot more Finman in April, and uh, we are going to expect a lot of uh, floaters as well. And if we are not so lucky, we might even see some uh, mutants as well. So yeah, I hope that we can actually get the OTS up and running because. Uh, uh, once we get that running, we can have an extra slot uh, instead of six men. We can go up to seven men, and then uh, the mission should be a lot easier because uh, we can have more uh, variety of soldiers to uh, go on a mission. Uh, yeah, there is a lot of PFCs as well. Who look at that? Yeah, a bunch of PFCs. Eh, the chief. Yeah, MVP. <laughs> Uh, no one can argue with that, huh? But uh, yeah, I, I think uh, that month is okay-ish, if not great, and uh, uh, things hopefully should go fine. Uh, and if we can get uh, some of the rocketeers and uh, all right, let's see, uh, engineers to uh, to level up a little bit before we actually hit the terror mission, that would be also great. Because uh, in the terror mission, ah. Chrysalis as well, yeah, chrysalis, <laughs> those skittering, uh, murdering bastards. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that will be for another episode. Uh, it will be fun, and uh, yeah, I mean, no casualties on bomb, uh, bomb disposal. That's that's always great news, great news for us. So yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Uh, it has been fun, and uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, there will be a lot more shooting of aliens to come as well. So yeah, do look forward to my uh, next episode, I hope. Uh, and uh, if you like this video, uh, do consider to give us a thumbs up and uh, also subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, it will notify you when uh, uh, the series will get some new uh, updates. And uh, also I will be uh, regularly update this uh, series as well, as well as another of my series that I'm doing, uh, SD Gundam G Generation Cross Race. Uh, uh, both are great games. Uh, I think the Cross Race is more about uh, Gundam fans <laughs> uh, than a uh, tactical thing. But uh, in XCOM Long War, it is a lot about tactics. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> all right. So enough of my blabbering. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. I'm Brian, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.